Okay, so if you're watching this video, you clearly don't have a lot of time to prepare for IB exams, so I'm not going to waste your time and tell you things like get enough sleep and eat properly because you already know how to survive like tests and stuff because you've done IB. Um, so I'm just going to go through and give you exact, um, like specific tips for each IB subject. Okay, so, um, okay, so well, an overall tip. Um, that's really important is that you're going to be tested exactly on the IB syllabus. So make sure that everything your teacher has given you has actually corresponded to what the syllabus says. So if the syllabus has a specific point like objective 1.2, define endoplasmic reticulum, like make sure that you know that and you have like the actual copy of what IB wants you to know because that's exactly what you're going to be tested on and it's the same all over the world. Um, so if your teacher gives you like random information that isn't on the syllabus, like you don't even have to study that. So make sure you're studying the right material. So that's a general tip. Okay, so first thing, HL English. So this is a very common one. Um, there are a bunch of different ones, but at least the one that my school did. Um, so paper two is the one that you can prepare the most for. Paper one, it's kind of like you just have to bullshit as much as you can um, in the best of your ability. But for paper two, basically, um, just like make a column uh, with all the text and then make a column of like <clears throat> themes, characters, um, symbols, imagery, and then just see like how they overlap and then try to like discuss that and make connections between the text and try to really be able to explain those connections and then somehow when you get your paper two question you'll be able to use some of those connections that you remember and then you'll be able to do well on that. Um, okay so the next one are some of the sciences so HL bio. Um, so yeah so just make a study guide for each unit and make sure you go by the syllabus again um, and know like ex the exact points that you need to know. Um, watch a lot of YouTube videos, like there's a lot of helpful like Khan Academy videos, there's a lot of different channels that even like IB teachers made um, that go through the content and actually teach it to you. So if you didn't really understand a unit well, make sure you go watch it again and like actually learn it again instead of just like trying to memorize it because you'll learn it better that way. Um, yeah, oh, and then also, um, you can separate like separate the syllabus into all the things that you need to draw for bio, um, and this goes for chem as well. Like all the different bi di ah, biograms, all the different diagrams you need to know. So like the heart, um, the plants. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really remember, but just like things like that, and then just draw each of those and like have a separate study guide for that because you'll need to like know those um, really well. And then, what else did I write? Um, and then when you're actually doing your IB exam, add diagrams and like specific IB terms um, to all your answers because those things are usually what get you the points in your answer. Um, HL Chem, same thing. No kinetics really well. Last time, like a lot of the exam was kinetics for some reason. It was very like heavily weighted towards one thing. Um, know how to draw diagrams like electrolytic cells and Born-Haber cycles. Um, make sure you actually know organic chemistry. If it's the last day and you don't know how an alkane turns into an alkene, then just like give up because it's really hard to learn organic chemistry overnight. Um, for sciences, paper two is the hardest, so just do, when you're doing practice exams, try to do the paper twos mo more. Um, but also focus on paper threes because it's shown that worldwide people do badly on paper threes because they aren't taught options as well as they're taught the core things. Um, so if you focus a lot on your options too, then you'll be able to pull up your whole mark by a bit and that'll actually help you a lot. Um, so then HL Geo. So good job on picking one of the easiest HLs. Um, for this one, you don't actually have to memorize all the case studies your teacher gives you. You can actually just read a lot of newspapers and then you'll have a whole arsenal of 
uh, resources to draw back on when you're writing your exam. You can just throw case studies into that. Um, read The Economist because it's one of the best newspapers and a lot of actual adults and like UN people read The Economist. Um, HL Math, lol, <laughs> why did you choose HL Math? I can't really help you with that one. Um, HL History, write a lot of past exams and practice essay writing and how to formulate your ideas into an essay structure because that's the main skill that you're going to be needing for that course. Um, SL Math, the biggest tip for this one, or I guess just math in general, is to not put it off because you might think that you have like a bio exam and then you'll put off doing like you'll have a bio exam and then you'll have a math exam in two days and you'll think like oh I have two days to do math but that's actually a bad way of thinking about it because if you don't practice math enough then you won't actually know how to work through the steps of a question properly when you get to the exam or not fast enough and then you won't be able to finish or it'll just end up being a mess so just start doing math right away um, <clears throat> along with like your other courses like draw your little endoplasmic reticulum or phospholipid membrane and then do some math do some math right after you watch this video um, I endorse math, little jokes, I hate it, but do math. Um, SL French, so practice reading French or any other language. Um, listen to it, uh, look over grammar and vocab, um, try to know a lot of like grammar and vocab about one subject or like one type of area that you or theme that you can apply to everything, for example, globalization, and then just try to throw that into your answer. Um, so those are the main tips. Remember that sharing is caring. A lot of universities have like IB specific groups as part of their like class of 2019 or whatever. So you can go and join that and then just like share resources or you can make one. Um, make sure to get sleep. So if you've written a lot of exams in one day, um, just take a nap as soon as you get home because your brain needs rest before it can start studying again and get re getting ready for the next one. So don't just like continuously study, just like make sure you take large period, periods of time where your brain gets to recover and actually be able to retain the material that you studied. So those are the main tips. If you have any other subjects that you want to see covered, comment below. Um, best of luck, you can do this. Hundreds of thousands of people have survived <laughs> May. Um, so yeah, so best of luck. I hope everything goes well for you. Um, and yeah, have, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.